Slavia, I told John Neymar, the founder of the Eva Foundation International. And I'd like to welcome you to yet one more iteration of the weekly Ethoscope. Before I get into that, uh, I don't know how many of you know that I'm a, well, I'm a sports aficionado of, uh, some <laughs> of some note, but particularly I, you know, generate towards tennis and uh, basketball. So, um, an interesting thing came to me while watching uh, Sloane Stephens win her first uh, championship the other day. And uh, when she was all done, you know, speaking to the crowd and thanking, getting over the excitement, she asked for the microphone back and she uh, said, well, I completely forgot my team. Well, I think once in a while I completely forget my team as well. Um, first and foremost, uh, you know, I want to, you know, put a shout out to him. He took a real uh, grateful thankfulness uh, to having somebody like uh, uh, this man in my life, in my wife's life. Um, who has helped us so much, uh, is, is Javier uh, Lujan. He uh, runs our websites. Uh, we've done so much more than that. Uh, he is a, you know, a paramount of uh, calm and quiet at a time when we can get quite you know, obsessed with what we're doing and run hither and yon. And, uh, he just always gets it right. And, uh, We've been together, I don't know how many years, 25 years, something like that at this point in time. And uh, each year gets better and better. Unfortunately, this year I missed uh, his wedding. Uh, uh, she was a long time uh, uh, friend. Uh, and uh, it was a, a matter of uh, physicality, not being able to travel and do that. But I certainly would have loved to be there. But it was great to see uh, he and Bobby get married and, uh, and be able to express the kind of life that they, uh, they're they interested in. Years ago, I said to him, hey, I, you know, I need a uh, gay bottle out. And he said, well, why? And I, you know, he was quite happy being in those shoe and grease. In fact, he was wonderfully happy. <laughs> but uh, I said, because it's, it, it, the people in this country cannot be initiated into Ifa. And so Javier, knowing the kind of you know, flack that he would take from it, uh, volunteered to do that. And of course, the rest is history. Um, in, all, in, in one sense, all of the Bablaos that we initiate has, have Javier to uh, thank for uh, that opportunity. At any rate, he's, you know, one of a very important team, and I think that uh, it behooves me to stop once in a while and to say thank you, um, and uh, I appreciate your uh, keeping me straight and getting us uh, along. This week in the uh, Ethoscope, it is uh, Ofuna Wunda, a really nice Odu, by the way. Ofuna is on the temple everyday side. It's a side where you want to use your ifa wisdom and knowledge. Um, not necessarily what you've been told is the right thing to do, or you think is the right thing to do, but that which, upon rumination, upon experience, and all kinds of things, you know a Romulo will do. And more often than not, it's going to be significantly different than what it is you're looking for. And on the uh, Ogunda, it's a sign that takes great character and great uh, perseverance because it's a matter of getting your work done. Getting the work done before uh, going on to anything else. Uh, and it's a nice template to have. Unfortunately, it comes here. This is a teeter-totter, folks. This is level and this is a little bit off balance. And that's who we are. Um, and the reason for this is that uh, uh, 
it would seem that there's like too much uh, focus on our everyday enjoyment in life um, and on the uh, on the emotional spiritual side that the need for sudden change, uh, both of which are uh, inappropriate at this point in time. You know, I, I, I mean, the do is uh, idiosa. And uh, it's good of you, but it's there for all the wrong reasons. So, um, what we want to do is we want to get in touch with the Arisha and put all this in balance. It'll give us a chance to take a deep breath and get back on the path of, um, you know, getting our you know, life in order and getting our ducks in a row, and uh, for that person, or that Arisha, <laughs> I anthropomorphize my Arisha, but that uh, uh, Arisha is a Romulo. Who better to tell us, hey, you're not thinking about me, you better start thinking about me, thinking about what I would do, and not so much about what you would do. It's that simple. And uh, but Arumi would like us some coffee, this time with no cream in it. I don't know if you can see over there, probably not. But, uh, you know, what you want to do is, if you're lucky enough to have an Arumi, you bring it down. If not, take what, you know, suffices uh, to allow you to uh, you know, talk to Arumi. Take two white candles. Take the coffee with a little bit of cream or milk in it and ask for the wisdom of using his wisdom, of being able to go forward and to quit in one sense, forgive me, but worrying about yourself in a way that is very self absorbed and not in a way that will benefit you and your family. So you want to offer. The coffee, you want to light the candles, and you want to pray. And praying is the most important thing you can do here. Once you do, the healing process begins to take place. Until next time, love and blessings.